So you have a new script for me? Yes sir I do, it's called Pacific Rim. And what's the story? Well actually that's the great thing about this concept, the story doesn't really matter. What do you mean? Okay check this out, the movie has giant robots fighting giant monsters. Oh my god. Yeah so story wise there's this guy and his brother and they have this bond that allows them But then the guy's brother's gonna die and... Sir? Sir? <clears throat> yes. You didn't hear any of the story stuff I said, did ya? No, I guess I was just thinking about robots fighting monsters. And how cool it is. And how cool it is, exactly. Yep, that's what I was saying. The story doesn't really matter here. Wow, okay. I mean, guide me through it anyway, just so I know. Of course, so humans have made these giant robots and... Sir? Yes, sorry, I'm good. So in the movie there's a portal called the Breach at the bottom of the ocean, and these giant monsters called Kaiju come out from there and destroy cities. Wow. And so all the humans pool their resources together to build giant robots so they can, you know, punch them in, in their faces. Oh, they kill the monsters by punching them! No, actually the punching doesn't do much at all. They almost always end up killing them with plasma cannons. Huh. What's up? Well, it just feels like if the cannons kill them and the punching doesn't really do anything, then they should just set up cannons next to the breach, right? Well, it's not just cannons. Oh? Sometimes they use swords. Like sharpened blades? Right. So again, they could just put sharpened blades over the breach. Yeah, I see what you're saying. The monsters would come out and it would be like a kaiju paper shredder. Yeah, those are all valid points, but the thing about this movie is that none of the characters are gonna solve their problems in ways that you know, makes sense. Oh, how come? Well, because none of the logical solutions involve giant robots punching giant monsters. Yeah, I guess that's no fun. Exactly, we want those punches. Yeah, I gotcha. So does anything else happen in the movie, or is it all punching? Oh no, there's also some random story stuff. Oh, do tell. Well, the main character in this movie is this guy named Generic Action Hero. His name is Generic Action Hero? Yeah, so for casting, I figure you could get, like, a generic action hero. I know the perfect guy. Oh yeah? Yeah, his name is Charlie Hunnam. Is he a generic attractive white guy with muscles? He is. Well, that'll work. Great. So anyway, he and his brother ride a Jaeger together because they're drift compatible. Oh. Yeah. So is that like a sex thing or? No, no, no. See, you need two people that are very in sync mentally to control the robots. Like usually it's family members. Why do you have to be two people? Well, cause the movie needed some conflict. So I made up some random rules. Fair enough. So anyway, generic action hero's brother gets killed in action. So he gets sad. Wait, killed in action? Don't they operate the robots remotely? No, they're inside of them. So they have all this crazy technology, but they couldn't figure out how to operate the robots without being in them. Apparently not. Okay. So anyway, Years later, the government decided to stop funding the Jaeger program and instead they just build some walls. Oh, is it gonna be hard for the kaiju to get through those? No, it's gonna be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Oh, really? Yeah, well, I mean, these things destroy cities, so... Obviously, putting up a wall doesn't work. Yeah, that makes sense. Why did they think that would work? I don't know. Huh. So this army guy is like, well, let's get the Jaeger program going again and drop a nuke in the breach. Oh yeah, they're gonna drop a nuke in the breach, huh? Is that like a sex thing? No, it's not. Oh. So he gets generic action hero back in the program and he has to find him a new partner. Oh, is it gonna be hard to find someone who's drift compatible? No, it's gonna be super easy, barely an inconvenience. Really? Yeah, it turns out that army dude's adopted daughter is a perfect match. That is convenient. Very convenient. Wow. So anyway, they do a whole lot of monster punching and then they blow up the breach. Very cool. So, any questions? Well, first off, I just wanna be sure of one thing. We're gonna destroy the Golden Gate Bridge, right? Oh yeah, of course. That things going down right away. Awesome, I hate that bridge. Yeah, most studio people I speak to really hate that thing. It is the worst. Yeah, apparently. So anyway, if they manage to close the breach at the end, isn't that gonna make it tough for us to make a sequel? Well, I figure robots punching monsters for one movie is okay, but more than that's kind of a stretch. Yeah, I guess that would be really overkilling it. Yeah, I'd say so. Hey guys, Ryan here. Thanks for watching that pitch meeting. We have a ton more on the channel, so be sure to check those out. And let me know in the comment section what other movies I should do these for. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and click all, all the buttons. You can also check out ScreenRant.com for the latest movie and TV news. Thanks for watching, guys. I'll see you next Saturday with a new pitch.